Uh, we're entering the Church of St. John the Baptist for our morning Mass. Today's Friday, October 17th, the last day of our tour. We're just starting off. It's 9 o'clock. John the Baptist as a child. This photo, this painting is asking for the head of John the Baptist. So from his childhood to the side of the church was his execution. A little strenuous walk to the Church of the Annunciation. And we just came from the Church of St. John the Baptist. Get some beautiful views from the town of Ain Karem. Visitation Church. Rabbi Ernswijk, how are you today? The journey from Nazareth to Ein Karem by the Blessed Mother on the donkey. The Magnificat on the wall, all different languages. This is the English one. and 
The virgin is hurrying, bearing under her heart her treasure, the one true king of all the world, redeemer of all humankind, son of God, of God's most high, who can know such grace. We praise the purest mother of the only begotten, who did create us and also redeem us with flowers and branches. the Yad Vashem uh, Holocaust Museum in uh, Israel. One of the last stops on our tour. I guess I can take pictures on the outside but not inside. Dedicated to the survivors who threw their lives via the memory. city of Jerusalem and the second temple. We'll soon get an explanation. If we are in reality, uh, this model is real in Jerusalem, where we are standing right now at Mount of Olives. Do you remember we took a picture with the background of Jerusalem? Yeah. Okay. So this, where we are right now, this represents Mount of Olives. And Jesus, he walked down Mount of Olives, or even he rided a donkey, and he stopped, looked at Jerusalem, 
And Jerusalem looked like this at the time of Jesus. So this is what he saw. And then he wept because Jerusalem, after his ascension, actually was destroyed. And the temple was destroyed. So this big building that you are seeing, this is the temple. This is what it used to be at the time of Jesus. Wow. Nowadays, what over there? The Dome of God. Okay, so this is the temple that you could see and the last or uh, one quarter of the temple is the Holy of Holies. Okay, so the building, the last part of the building, there were the Holy of Holies. Right? And nobody is here, only the high priest that they will enter. And what's separating them is the church. What happened with the person when Jesus died? That the spirit that the spirit is not a Lord behind the person in the beautiful of Holy Spirit is actually within building. Everywhere. Okay? So the temple, the plaza that it is surrounding the temple, and this is what we talked about when Herod he renovated the building and the, uh, the temple, he extended the plaza and he built a colonnade all around it and you could see down there the columns. Yeah. So when Jesus, he entered to the temple, he saw the money changers where the colonnade is and he flipped the yeah. tables over yeah. there. Okay. And that plaza could accommodate up to 240,000 people that they will come for pilgrimage. Jewish people, they will come to pilgrimage. So if they want to control it, how they will control it? He built the Antonia Fortress. Look now to the right of the temple. You will see four towers. Can you see those four towers? This is the Antonia Fortress, where Jesus was condemned, carried his cross, and he walked all the way to the Calvary, where he actually been crucified, okay? If you look to the right of the temple, just go to the right of the temple, you will see two squares, and uh, the roofs is brown. Can you see it to the right? Okay, this is Bethesda Pools. Bethesda Pools. Do you remember yesterday we were in St. Anne and Bethesda Pools? So the one to the right, this is Bethesda Pools. Okay, so from here we will walk that direction and we will see the valleys of Jerusalem. Please. This valley on this side is Gehenna, and then in the front of the temple is the Kidron Valley. We have, um, uh, Kathy has, um, from Mary Henry, she has the the list, which is the names and phone numbers and email addresses. Um, she would be happy, welcome to uh, distribute to everyone, but not everyone feels comfortable having their email or their name and phone number, all of that distributed. So if there's anyone that has a difficulty with that, if they could let Kathy know, otherwise um, she'll send that out. And that way, when you do have your pictures ready and you want to send pictures to people, um, you would be able to do that through, through email. But uh, when we do have a reunion, last time when I was on the trip, we had a reunion, and people brought uh, their photo albums on um, one woman you put together see it? Can you see it? a PowerPoint presentation of all of her pictures, which was wonderful. So if anyone feels inclined to do that, that would be great.